the tinder box. Trooper Tom was marching home from battle when Russell, 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 out of the bushes sprang an old woman. Would you like to be wonderfully rich? She croaked. Of course, said Tom. But how? Below that hollow tree, you'll find a cave. The woman explained, "Inside there are three treasure chests, but be warned, a fierce dog guards each one." The lady laid the dog on my apron, and they won't harm you. All I want is the old tinder box that's down there," she added. Will you help me? Okay, agreed Tom. He lowered himself into the gro growling depths, down and down and down and down. At the bottom of the cave, lit by a swarm of swimmering fireflies, the treasure must be behind those doors, thought Tom. Not to mention the growling dogs. The first door opened with a creepy creak. Trembling, Tom tiptoed inside. There, on a treasure chest, sat a huge dog with eyes as big as cups. Tom carefully lifted the dog onto the apron. Easy, boy. Then he tugged open the chest. Wow. A stream of shiny copper coins cascaded out. I'm rich," said Tom. In the second room, he found an enormous dog with eyes as big as saucers. Tom set him down on the on the apron and opened up the chest. Sparkling silver! Hooray! I'm really rich," cried Tom. Nice doggy. The next door, a gigantic dog with eyes as big as dinner plates, was on guard. Tom heaved him on onto the apron and opened up the chest. Glittering gold flooded onto the floor. I'm really, really rich. <gasps> Gasped he, in disbelief. Tom was about to leave when he remembered the tinder box. Ah,、oh, there it is. He grabbed the box and climbed outside. As Tom handed over the tinder box, a firefly fluttered from his backpack. No fireflies are deadly to me. It landed on on the old woman's nose, and whoosh, she vanished into a puff of smoke. Tom was shocked. Poor thing, he thought. There was nothing that could be done, so Tom clanked off to town with his treasure. He stayed in swanky hotels and splashed out on fancy clothes. But Tom was too kind-hearted. He shared his fabulous fortune until every penny was gone. All Tom had left was the tinder box. I'm f- 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 freezing. I light up the tinder box to keep warm. He thought. And he struck the steel with a flint. Pop! A dog with eyes as open as as big as teacups appeared. What is your wish, master? A, you're a dog from the cave. Do you grant wishes? I could really use some money," said Tom, slightly dazzled. The dog bounded off, and swiftly returned with a bag of gold. And then another, and another, and another. Tom moved on to the grand house in the town. One day, the king and queen rode by. Why does no one go out the door? Nobody likes that snooty pair," sniffed the maid. They keep the poor princess locked up so no one can see her. 
Hmm. That evening, Tom summoned the dog. Please bring the princess here, he commanded. Then, when he saw the beautiful prince, Tom fell head over heels in love. At daybreak, the dog returned her to the palace. I have a feeling, I have a feeling the princess was out last night, said the king. We'll soon know if it happens again, said the queen. She tied a bag of flour with a hole it, in it to her daughter's nightgown. Now the princess left a telltale tale behind. The next morning, the king followed the, the trail to Tom's house. Caught you, he roared. No one may see the princess. You'll die at dawn tomorrow. Tom was tossed in the palace dungeon. I'll never set eyes on the princess again, Tom sighed. Just before dawn, his maid came to say goodbye. Suddenly, Tom had an idea. Please rush home and fetch my tinder box, he whispered. At the crack of dawn, Tom was marched into the town square. The town folk felt sorry for the poor soldier. Let him go, spare him, shame. Quiet peasants, snapped the queen. Yes, silence, barking the king, or you'll be next. Now's my chance. Tom plucked out the tinder box from his pocket and... He struck the steel with three times pap zop pow. All three dogs from the cave sprang into action. Chase the king and queen from the kingdom, ordered Tom. Call them off, help. Arr. Tom set the princess free and asked her to marry him. Their wedding was a day of celebration across the land. The crowds cheered. Tom's maid swept, wept with tears of joy. And the three dogs looked on patiently without barking once. <laughs>